Making a garment for a girl is so easy and straightforward and you don't really need much measurements to draft this pattern. This is because girls below the age of 10, their busts and waist circumference measure almost the same. So their garments do not necessarily require a dart. In today's pattern, I'll be showing you how to draft a girl's body's pattern with just three measurements, which is the chest, the half length, and the shoulder measurements. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. I'll be using this measurement for this pattern, okay? So the half length is the measurement from the shoulder to the waistline, and it's 10 inches. So I have to impute that first on my pattern. Okay. Now from this point to the end is 10 inches. So this will be our waistline. The first thing to do is to measure the shoulder. The shoulder is 10.5 inches. I'm drafting this pattern for a four year old. So this measurement was for four year old. You have to work with the measurement for the age you're making the dress for. So the shoulder is 10.5 inches. I'm going to impute half of 30, which is 5.25 at this point. Then I'm going to come down by half inch or three quarter of an inch to create the shoulder slope. Okay, at this point. For my neck width, I'm going to use 2.25. You can make it up to two and a half if you wish. For the depth, I'll be using two and a half inches. You can also make it up to three inches depending on what you want. So I'm going to connect this point to my shoulder slope. And I'm going to also mark out my neckline. Usually to determine the armhole or the depth of the armhole, I usually divide my shoulder by two. I'm going to apply the same 5.25 to this point. So this is it, 5.25. This will become the armhole depth. So from that point, I'm going to mark a straight line. I'll also connect it to the shoulder then I'll create my armhole from here so to create the armhole for the front pattern I'll just go in by half inch then connect it to the armhole Now I'll impute my chest circumference divided by 4. That's 25 divided by 4. It's going to be 6.25. I'll impute it here. I'll impute the same measurement on the waistline. 25.6.25. This is because most children, their bust and waist circumference measure almost the same. But you, you always need to measure the child you're sewing for if the bust measures smaller or bigger than the waistline you apply that appropriately for girls pattern i don't necessarily use uh, that okay because the bust and the waist circumference are almost the same so most of the time i don't use that but if you must use a dart for this then you can apply your dart at this point okay but i don't use that for children below the age of 10 now the pattern is almost done so i'll just cut this out now before i make my back bodies please note that there is no seam allowance added to this pattern so when you're cutting on fabric do well to add all the seam allowance you require to make the dress for your 
damn it. So I'm placing this on the rest of the pattern paper to create the back pattern. The difference here is that I'm leaving out one inch for my zipper allowance at the back. Then the armhole, I will not go in by half inch. So remember for the front bodies, we measured one inch. We measured half inch in on the armhole. So I will not do that on this back pattern. Rather the armhole will pass through the exact point. Okay, But every other thing will be the same for the back pattern. So we need to create our armhole for the back. Which will start from the exact point. So I've traced that out. So this is it. So this is all for the back pattern. If you're not adding zipper to this dress, you don't need to make the back pattern. And for the for the neckline and swell, instead of using our two inches, we'll just use a three quarter of an inch for the back neckline. Okay, so this will be for the back neckline. So this is all about a girl's bodice block. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.